All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever stream of Dakota Collegiate Rocket League. It has been a long time coming. An ungodly amount of work has been put into this. We have been working our butts off, but it is finally coming to fruition. The draft is official. We are ready. We are here. And I cannot just emphasize how excited I am to finally get this thing up and running. I am going to be your host tonight, K-Tool. And with me, joining me on just about every single stream we do is going to be the president, Trey. Of course. Yes, it is me, Trey. And I'm ready to do some <laughs> DCL draft stuff. Oh, my goodness. Quite the amount of work, as he said earlier, has been put into this one. We've been collecting all these answers from everyone. We've got them here tonight for you. Div C, Div A, Div B. All of you guys will know your teams by tonight, and we can get this thing rolling. Yeah, it, it has been, like Trey said, it's been it's been so much work, but the draft is done, you know, messaging everyone, making sure. It took us about three days to get the draft done, just because this has grown to as big as it is. Um, we got, we got a lot to unpack tonight. Like I said, we'll start out going through Div C draft, then we'll go to Div B draft, and then Div A. Um, first of all, hopefully you guys are appreciating uh, the actual, you know, updated look. Uh, huge, huge shout out to CRJ Pumpkin from School of Mines. Uh, he, all this overlay stuff, this is, you know, basically all him doing this stuff. Even like the 3D logo you see spinning in the middle of this is Simi. Like we put in so much work as a community to actually get this to where it is. Dunk doing all the graphics and, or not the graphics, like the spreadsheets in the background. It's a community effort. This is not just me. This is everyone involved, but mm -hmm. hopefully you guys are appreciating it. Uh, Trey, uh, kind of before we actually get into the drafts, you want to give us a little background of what the heck DCRL actually is and why does it even exist? Well, how about we start off with the acronym itself? Of course, it is Dakota Collegiate Rocket League. The background on that is actually because of uh, NDSU has such a large player base. Uh, we had a weekly league, in fact, that uh, just had like 30, 40 people, our last few of them. And uh, we just basically had an in-house league. We'd play against each other. And uh, I mean, basically, we just had the idea, hey, we have such a big... Uh, community here we'd love to share that with everybody else so we just invited all the schools in north and south dakota and uh now this is where we are and we are going to start off with 3v3 this season but yeah dakota collegiate rock league is uh it's in its infancy but i'm really excited to see what it becomes yeah i know this is obviously our inaugural season but yeah it started as just we had such a huge player base and a lot of other schools reaching out to them said yeah we don't really have anything like we have our collegiate team which is you know just the top three but you're not in the top three there's nothing really for a lot of people to do so we kind of just adopted the rest of the colleges um in here so now i'm looking at the list of colleges uh and it's kind of crazy actually how many schools now have joined this thing i uh, definitely didn't expect it at all um but we have ndsu uh south dakota school of mines dsu uh university of jamestown minot state university moorhead we've got UND, USD in South Dakota, we've got Concordia, as well as SDSU, 10 colleges joining us on this on this journey. Obviously, like you said, it is our infancy, but I am so excited to have this entire tournament and eventually cap it off with a LAN uh, at the end of the season here. Yeah, that'll be really exciting. The LAN will be on the 3rd and 4th of December. That is the week after the good old Thanksgiving break. So just make sure you have that one marked in your calendars. So every uh, the top four teams from the, the playoffs will actually be playing on land. So each division will actually have a chance to play on land and uh, take home the trophy there. So it's really exciting. Everyone, it's super inclusive, which I really love. That's something I've been pushing for for a long time. It's like, because if you want to be uh, if you're a lower ranked player, and you don't want to be playing with like really high ranked players. It's just not as fun for you to get <sighs> touch the ball as much. Thank you, it's just, it's for everybody. It just allows you to... Have a fun league that you can play in for a semester and meet a bunch of new friends around your same rank and same interest, of course. So it's really exciting for that. Yeah, given the opportunity to a lot of these people, I mean, obviously you and I have been fortunate enough that we've gotten to travel and actually play on LAN, but for a lot of the lower level people, they're never going to get that opportunity. So giving the players in Div B, Div C the opportunity to make it on LAN, like Trey said, top four from each division, make it on LAN. So straight half of you guys competing, we have created a tournament and half of you guys are going to be competing on LAN, which... Obviously, as that gets closer, we'll be able to share more and more details because I promise you a lot of stuff's in the work. But uh, do you have anything else you kind of want to add or should we kind of just jump right into it here? Uh, I guess I just kind of want to clear a few things up for like, all these teams right away. So uh, captains, you are allowed to reach out to your players if you want to start like a little group chat. Just to make sure you have all your ideas centralized. I know there's a few of these people's first time in the league, so they might not know all these little intricacies. 
yeah, just like start a little group chat on Discord. It's the best. Or just add each other on Snap, each other's phone numbers. Make sure you guys are in contact. We can provide all the information to you guys that we have so you can get that going. And then also for when we do get started into games, um, we'll be reporting all of our games in ball chasing. So you have to make sure you save all those replays and then make sure you put those into our respective channels for when you report your games so that we can get stats for everyone and we can collect all of that. I uh, just want to take one second and appreciate all the subs, all the follows, you guys. It really doesn't mean a lot oh to us. We, we, we've kind of taken a break, obviously, over the summer, kind of preparing everything. But this is, I'm looking at the numbers right now, and this is already like one of our biggest streams ever. And we haven't even done yeah. any gameplay. So just showing how much support there is actually in the community, I cannot wait to show you guys. Obviously, you're only going to see like half of the stream, um, you know, like the scenes and stuff. Once we get into the gameplay, the winner screen, and all that stuff. Everything is revamped. I it is really special. And again, appreciate all the subs, the follows, everything. We're just gonna keep growing, and we're just gonna prove, you know, that you know NDSU has the support, the community, and I cannot wait to post it on land. But as we get another uh, another donation here, as world coming in, what's he gonna More say? More like K fool. Yep, I, I figured. Just, you know what? If you guys want to, you know, pay money to insult me, I will absolutely take hey, it. Hey, that's so, fine with me too. And you know what? You I might have to go a little bit later. <laughs> Thank you, Trey. You do that enough for free already. Look at I it. don't have to pay, actually. <laughs> Screw you, kids. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to add, or should we jump into Div C draft? Anything yeah. else? No, no, let's jump. All right. I, like I want to jump, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's jump into Div C. Um, so pretty much how we're going to do is that all the teams are blacked out. What you can see right now are the eight captains. So Weak Old Pickle, Shake and Skate, Baba Kanoosh, Aqua Toad, Chief Nick, Josh Peck in 2004, Bean Chalupa, and Two Doodles 2. First of all, what the heck are those names? These names are awesome, dude. <laughs> all oh. of you guys are so creative. I love it. Oh, I, I love that name. But yeah, so pretty much we're going to go through one by one. And for example, um, I, I can... Um, make this a reset because this is two duels himself but we're just going to go through uh the team kind of in the draft order of how it actually happened and reveal to you guys uh what the heck actually happened here so um anything else you want to say or should we just jump into it and reveal the very first pick of dip c dip c dip c dip c <laughs> going let's through, go two doodles it's going to be two doodles is in fact selecting aqua maniac the uh, number the, one overall the, pick. very he was he was actually he was a number one overall pick of dip c um, so always really cool to see. Um, he's definitely new. There's going to be a lot of players in DFC who, unfortunately, we just don't know as much about. Uh, they just haven't maybe been in the Discord as long. They haven't gotten to talk to us or play with us a ton. So we do apologize if we don't have as much to say on them because right now it's all new. You know, it's new. It's new for you guys. This is all very new for us. So just keep that in mind. But moving on, Bean Chalupa is going to be snagging Bernie326. <laughs> Two doodles, yeah, in, in chat saying he, he already knows. He's, he's number one. How do you get an NDSU <laughs> RL shirt? Well, believe it or not, I Ooh. think I have this set up that you can just do have exclamation mark merch and it'll take you to our website. Uh, on there, we have information about DCRL uh, rules. We do have merch page as well, which uh, Trey's actually wearing merch himself right now. Uh, I am not wearing, I'm wearing some version one merch, uh, another esports team. Uh, in the Rocket League scene, but yeah, if you guys want to cop some merch, you know the, the the full sellout, you know, of course. But yeah, we've got we've got lots. Oh, of we have stuff. our most viewers. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, hey, you, you gotta you gotta assume. Yeah, this is now our most viewed stream ever. Again, appreciate the support, you guys. But without further ado, because we have a lot of divisions to go through tonight, we do not want to keep you guys here forever. Josh uh, Peck Josh in time, Peck. baby. Josh, I Peck. love Josh Peck. It's a great name. Of oh, course. Hey, what? <laughs> I can reveal too. No, 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 no. Josh Pecking, of course, coming from Drake and Josh himself. Turtles all with the third overall pick in the whole draft, baby. That's what I'm talking about, Turtle. You have improved so much from day one. I love it. Turtle, you are the best. You are the GOAT. You can cast any game you want. You can cast the finals this time, baby. Dude, Turtle has Turtle has told me he has not played all summer. And he's literally, still the best player he's, like, he's just like, how much of a meme would it be if I only logged on to play D Zero and was like, hey, you know what? That is absolutely a choice. Uh, obviously, between Turtle, you and your Turtle, team. <laughs> the last the last three season, I had Turtle. We ended up losing in the grand finals, but you know we got Bro. there, and that's all that matters. So definitely have a special place in my heart for Turtlezilla, and uh, I was hoping the best of luck. I will let you do the next one. I won't touch it. Go ahead. You can. <gasps> reveal, reveal wow. Well, moving right along to Chief <laughs> Nick Forty Four. Obviously picking up Watermelon, a.k.a. Alex in the Discord. Great overall pick for the fourth. He is a newcomer, so we do not know 
everything about him. But I, I'm thinking they're going to be a very strong team with Chief I know Nick he's, at the helm. I was going to say, if I'm correct, he's thinking he's from Concordia. Again, it's confusing. There's, yep. there's 10 colleges here, but we're getting there. Uh, moving right along, Aquatoad, one of the one of my favorite names. One of the chillest guys got to play with him a few times. He's going to be snagging out for the milk. I'm just trying Love to picture that. myself casting, like Dad? screaming, out for the milk, goes up for the ball. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a little rough, but we'll, we'll get there together. I'll let you take the next one. Well, of course, it's Baba Ganoush, one of the best names again in DC. Picking up the good old classic Mitchy Twitchy number six. A goaded pick overall. Mitchy could have gone much higher in this draft, but a solid overall pick. If I'm being honest, Mitchy is going to be a standout player for Div C, and I'm looking for some highlights from them. Dude, Mitchy and Turtle, like, they, they Mitchy and Turtle were uh, teammates. Oh. Yeah, they, they were teammates last uh, season for twos. Uh, they were definitely, like, one of the underdogs that you expected them to always just, like, they're going to pull through. They're going to pull through. They got this, and then just they kind of fell flat a little bit. So they took, you know, that's why Turtle took the summer off, obviously. He's got to recoup, you know, <laughs> re regain the mental. Now he's coming back stronger than ever. Regain, but regain. Uh, moving on, Shake and Skate uh, is going to be snaking Photo Nut, who, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, Shake and Skate, uh, he's brand new, snaking another brand new player. So that's going to be an interesting team to see uh, if their third has played in any of our NDSU seasons before. It's going to be interesting if any of these teams do not have a NDSU student because I think it's like 80% of everyone in here is from NDSU. So we'll see how the curtains or how the chips fall and see if we can uh, get some interesting teams with some different colleges. And do you want to do the efforts? Do the last one? Weak old pickle? I do. Actually, I could just reveal the whole team because he got two picks in a row. That's true. Good old, good old weak old pickle. Great name again. Weak old pickle. Like, yeah, that's, that's I mean, that Skull. Just skull a lot about is you. a weak old pickle. <laughs> skull. But, but of course, he picked up Gabe number first and then Garu Gomba. Goomba, who is gone two. in the Discord, I believe. Yeah, going, it, yeah. It, gets, it gets confusing because people have different names in game than in Discord. But yeah, so Wiko Pickle, who is Skull, picks up Gabe and Garo Gomba, who is gone. So that is going to be the fun team. Very first team revealed, Div C. Uh, Skull is going to have his work cut out for him. It should be really interesting uh, to see, you know, how he does two players back to back. So uh, hypothetically, Gabe and Garo Gomba should be pretty similar in skill level. And then obviously going to be relying on Skull to hopefully coach him up and uh, kind of be the leader for that team. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to need to see a step up from Skull, like you were saying, but he's definitely going to be have to do the hard carry. Or if he's just going to train them up and kind of sit back and watch them uh, monkey. I mean, that's always a strategy. So, it's a bad we'll strategy. Uh, no, I don't, I don't need you doing that to your team. It's teammates. a great strategy. It's a great <laughs> strategy. But moving right along, back to Shake. He actually gets another pick right after that one. And we got Tyler 8G going like, uh, is that 10th overall in the draft? So, not bad. Tyler gets picked up. And that completes our second team for Shake and Skate. Looking like a solid team overall. I can see them doing some damage. Dude, Tyler is, I don't know if you had a chance to play with him much. One of the yes. like chillest guys who is just always just like, oh, I got to get out of this rank. I got to get out of this rank. He is going through the rank hell that all of us have experienced. But I have faith that just the sheer amount of times Tyler's in chat, like talking, playing with us, he's going to just play with us a ton, just get better. He is going to be one of my sleeper picks, uh, specifically yeah. just how much he's grinding the game and his experience that he's going to get playing with higher level people, I think it's going to be really beneficial. Moving on, rounding out Baba Kanush and Mitchy Twitchy is going to be the one and only. So this, so his name in uh, Discord is Isaiah or Loniza. I don't know how to say his name, Loniza. I'm part, I'm really yeah. butchering that one. I apologize. But uh, I know him and Mitchy um, actually, I think, signed up together. Uh, and Mitchy, I remember DM me like, hey, you know, I just want to make sure he and I got, you know, signed up, make sure everything's good. And ironically, they're actually on the same team which I don't oh. think Baba Kanush actually knew or planned that at all. But uh, definitely going to be fun to actually be playing with one of your friends who you got to sign up on DCRL. Now you're going to be playing with them the entire season. <laughs> Mitchie really and, awesome. Mitchie and Twat. Or Mitchie and Chad. <laughs> Let's go. W pick. <laughs> awesome. But yeah. moving right along to Aqua Toad. It is final pick. Actually goes for Pixel Claw. And is that Wolf Claw? Am I, am I that correct is, with that? That, that is Wolf Claw. I, as soon as Aqua, is the, uh, Aqua told me that, I literally DM'd him and said, I don't know if you know this. You literally probably just picked up the almost guaranteed most improved person for Div C. She, <laughs> what? <laughs> I ended up talking to also uh, our only girl in the league so far. Only, only girl. Uh, I ended up talking to her like literally a month ago, and she was gold one. I'm not kidding. She's in plat right now. It's been a she's month. Crazy, it it is actually ridiculous how fast she's getting better so i'm just gonna call it by the end of this she's gonna be in like diamond or something so literally it's just a free win by picking her it's 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 actually broken 
but definitely a scary <laughs> team to watch out for in Div C. Moving on, Chief Nick and Watermelon rounding out their team is going to be Maester. So, nice. I, again, new person. Unfortunately, don't really know much about him. Uh, Chief Nick, Watermelon, and Maester are all three brand new players to this. A lot of Div C, a lot of the teams are all brand new. That's where you'll yep. see the most kind of newbies coming in. Um, but it's always good to get experience. It's, I, I'm just excited to see how these new people do because one thing I didn't even think about is the stream nerves. A lot of the NDSU people have, be have been playing on stream for a long time, don't have as much stream nerves, but that's going to be interesting to see how people do on you know stream in a tournament in this environment. Absolutely, but moving right along to Josh Peckin's team. Once again, him, Turtlezilla, and of course, Little Spooky rounding out their little squad. I really like the vibes that they got going on that team. They got uh, the Josh Peckin, you know, a TV character. Turtlezilla, you got a good animal. And then a Little Spooky, you got a ghost at the end. I mean, I think you just got to do something with that. Yeah. So I think that's a great little team. I know I know. we have a Spooky Mama is uh, also, I think he's in, he's in Div A. <laughs> but so you have Spooky Mama, and then you have Little Spooky. So I don't know if they're related, but... His little brother. Yeah, no. it's, his, it's his little brother. All right. Anyways, moving on. We are going to be snagging Assassin Wolf, who uh, I believe Greek had to bug a ton to get him to join. He's in here. Uh, I believe he is the lowest rated person right now. Um, but obviously that's right now. I give it a month. He's climbing the ranks. Um, I'm pretty sure we've always had people just like join the leagues like this and just instantly start climbing and climbing and climbing there's always yeah. massive improvements from these people yep it's all about that grind mindset if you got the right mindset you can do anything in this game but moving right along to two doodles rounding out div c mushroom man will be going last in the overall draft and rounding out two doodles team of course two doodles aqua and mushroom man will be your final team and that is going to be very frightening to play against because you got two very solid very solid team players at the top and the mushroom ram is just going to be improving the entire time it's going to be a crazy team to be playing against yeah. i'm really excited to see I them wanna, play i want to hear you guys in chat if you have uh any teams that you think are uh, winning it all who do you think is going to be the favorite who do you think is going to be the dark horse trey curious if you have uh, any top teams or any dark horse teams that you're really looking out for i mean obviously i, I love my boy mitchy twitchy and my boy turtle so i really want them to do well but i mean i gotta say probably like a week old pickles team i think they're gonna do a lot of things yeah I'm, i got my eye on aqua toads team i i really have faith in pixel uh that she is gonna just climb the ranks be crazy um i do really hope that turtlezilla like i said i've got a soft spot in his heart uh in my heart for turtlezilla so hoping uh he'll actually will start playing the game again and uh, actually gonna be uh, taking some dubs looking through chat though uh, I see, you know, Mit Mitchie's team is winning this one. Um, I oh, Shake and Skate says that team Shake and Skate can win. Didn't, you know, see that one coming. <laughs> you know, Weird. <laughs> ex no bias, pick. though. Excellent pick. Turtle, don't get your hopes up. Turtle, you got to play the game, my man. All right, that's the one, your one, your one job for this is to actually play the game. Um, <laughs> at least just cast, honestly. You yeah. don't have to play the game. <laughs> yeah, at, at, least, at least just cast. Um... But yeah, any anything else to round out Div C? Otherwise, I was gonna say we can probably move on right on to Div B. Honestly, make this gonna be our newest league quick. of our newest players, and I'm hoping everyone's really active and really enjoying it. So, yeah, if you so, need anything from us, always reach out. Yes, please. We are here to help. Um, obviously, you guys, you know, teams are here. Start making you know, your group chats. Uh, start making your team logos, your team names. We'll put out a, a form probably tomorrow morning. Uh, with all the schedules and everything and just you'll have to assign one person to be the captain to like actually schedule yeah, the tonight. games but well or even later tonight yeah we'll 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 you know make sure to probably put out another announcement but are you ready to move on to div two my good sir this is gonna be the most insane div honestly div b last time no offense no offense it was kind of a joke it was it was it was div b everyone made fun of it but div b this time oh my goodness it is crazy I mean, when you got people like Grant, Chemist, and Ali and Easy Money for the top four captains, like those are all just top tier players. Yeah, it is and interesting. Le Le Legendary, like, was in Div A last time. We got a couple yeah. people in here that were also in Div A last time. Uh, we've just gotten so many people. It's so top heavy. Like, Div C mm -hmm. ended up, you know, you obviously you'll see where the rankings are, but like Div C is much more spread out. But then Div B and A, like the actual MMR of all the players, it's so tight. It, it it's going to be so competitive. I'm, I'm so excited with how this is turning out. 
yeah, I I do not know how this one's going to turn out. I, I'm excited for a couple teams and I'm nervous for some other ones. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to start this one off. Legendary, of course, getting the first overall pick of this entire Div B draft. And uh, who did who did he pick up, Mr. Tool? Huh? He picked up, of course, Whirl, the one and only Grand Champ. Not Grand Champ. The Champ <laughs> of last week of the league. Whirl. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You, said, you said Div B is a joke. So, I mean, does that have any merit? Does that have any weight? Okay, when you have a team like Whirl and Spoon, it's insane. <laughs> it's not fair. That's why it's a joke. Uh, yeah, okay, so Leg legendary face. picking up Whirl. Whirl in the chat. All right, <laughs> hey, now you know. But yeah, legendary picking up Whirl as the number one draft pick for Div B. Does that surprise you, or is that to be as expected that Whirl did go number one? Because Whirl technically, due to our rankings, wasn't the first pick that we were expecting, but maybe legendary does know something that we don't. Yes, he does. He knows that World's the GOAT. <laughs> World can improve. He is so good in the air. I mean, it's just going to be insane to see how World plays with Legendary. I think that's going to be a fun duo. All right, all right. Moving on, we're going to get Jake, Bob, or Eric in Discord, for anyone who's wondering. It's going to be snagging Shark Bite, the free play main, the person who spent most of his Rocket League career with, like, 180 ping, finally coming to college, finally getting, like, 40 ping. Free play main might actually be cracked, and if he can figure out how to, you know, Make his mechanics <laughs> actually go in the back of the net in the game with a not unlimited boost. That might be a free win right there for the whole season. I mean, yeah, if you can teach him threes rotation, Jake Bob, that's literally all on you. You got the best teammate probably in all of Div B that isn't a captain. <laughs> Keyword. But we should Keyword. Move. Gotta gotta teach him rotations. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we should move right along to, of course, one of our new players, Beowulf. Of course, he's pretty cracked, but who did he pick up? None other than Yapakarm, the one and only air dribble champ who can do it oh within God, his first try. Dude, don't even and remind me about that. He's just so good that. everywhere. Everywhere. Actually, it it's not even fair how... Yeah. Yappa learned how to air dribble in literally like 30 seconds of us teaching him how to do it. And we're just like, are you kidding? I spent 30 hours doing this and he does it 30 seconds. So actually just OP. Classic Yappa. It's classic Yappa. Classic Yappa. All right, moving right on to Topher or Rooney in the Discord. Because again, everyone, you know, different names. It makes it a little confusing. He is going to be picking up Shaven, who has definitely been one of the more active people uh, so far in the community. Always good to play with him as much as possible. Just a goat. super chill guy. He he is going to be really fun to see how he does like on in a tournament environment, you know, actually on stream. Because he's yeah. got really high potential here. Absolutely. His room for improvement is just going to be going up and up and up. Nope. Especially it's, it's, playing nope. With it's, all that. It's, it's Shaven, not Shavin. I, I know he wants it to be Shavin, but I'm, I'm just going to say it's Shaven. It's happening, bud. It's just like Gyro. It's not Hero. It's Gyro. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. I guess Kato is just racist. Sorry, everybody. But let's move right along to Easy Money, who's not racist. And who did he pick up? None other than, than D. Hemingway. One of my dark horses of the entire Div B. I think he should have gone like first or second. He's, he's so good, and he's only going to be improving. Easy money. I think you Rob have Rocket the League. winning team in this Div B, and I'm so excited for you, man. You deserve a win. See, I, see, Trey and I went back and forth when we were ranking Hemingway because Hemingway, he's taking a lot of time off. Uh, he did play. He played in the first, like, four seasons of, like, the NDC Rocket League stuff, and then he's taken the last, like, three off. He's been a busy boy. Um, but has he been playing a lot of Rocket League? It's going to be hard to say. But if he jumps back into it like right, he used to be, fight. Yeah, no, I, I I can definitely see. That's why we've literally said that this team is OP like three or four times. And we haven't even done listed the first round. Like Div B is this competitive. And that's why we're just so hyped for this. So moving on, Ali, not even going to bother <laughs> to pronounce the rest of that David. name. He's Ali. Done. He is going to be picking up Jaden Demo King 11. <laughs> I like this pick for Jaden. All right. I like this pick for Ali. It's a solid overall pick. You You know what you're getting. And uh, there's always room for improvement. Jaden's a solid player. He has he shows a lot of potential. If he plays well this season, I could see him bringing back another world championship. Not world. Why is it called world champion? We weekly season. You know, he's won before. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, good talk. Uh, RLCS world champion. Jayden. Hey, yeah, we should go there. It'd be fun. But the okay. chemist, Coop, doggy dog. He is GC on Switch, apparently, according to him. I have never seen proof of it. But, Mr. GC on yeah, Switch, you can't even hit GC in actual Rocket League, so, you know, it's a little sus. But anyways, he is going to be getting Nemo, who is a brand new player 
Uh, he said specifically, uh, Chemist said that he did not want to pick a single person from NDSU. He wanted to get brand new players. <laughs> and, and his words, not mine. He specifically said that. I'm just like, all right, but you know, get 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 some uh, diversity up in here. I see him in chat. I love it. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. But yeah, Nemo, brand new player. Never seen him play. Haven't talked to him. So it's going to be interesting, again, how he does. And I will let you finish off the first round of Div B here. Okay. Who, other than Mr. Grant himself, the third of the MSUM varsity team with Grant, not Grant Stewie, Stewie and Bradley. Grant, of course, getting two picks in a row. We'll reveal his whole team. Who on earth did Grant pick up none other than Throff and Silent Focus? Two very, very good picks. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to pronounce. I, I call him Thoth. Not really sure. Again, we'll, we'll get confirmation from these names. But what are your initial reactions to the very first team of Div B finally being finalized here? Grant's going to be the carry. And then I'm really excited to see uh, the other two. See if they can keep up with this pace. Or if uh, Grant's going to take more of a leadership role and try to coach them up to his level. Yeah, thought, a lot of people saying Thoth is player. nuts. Yeah, I I definitely agree. Why is he so low? Hey, you know what? It's interesting about that world is the way this is set up. Everyone had access to every single player. Yeah. We had all the tracker links from everyone. So technically, if anyone in Div A, the captains, wanted to pick down and any player that's in Div C, they can. So why are they picked low? Eh, that's, that's up to all the, the captains. captains. You can fault, blame man. them. That is the captains. captain's fault. But we'll see if any captains get bit in the actually, butt sorry. based on that. Uh, or if there's, you know, like some just golden picks that slip through the cracks. But Chemist, rounding out his team, I guarantee it's not an NDSU player, because, you know, he said specifically he didn't want any, is going to be getting Zayjack. He's going to be a Ooh. brand new player. Um, I've had a chance to talk to him a few times. Uh, again, super chill guy. Everyone here is just super nice. Uh, so definitely a benefit of uh, all the Midwest people up here. Makes makes life a little easy on our, our end. But, uh, yeah, the uh, the only, I'm going to guess the only Div B... Uh, all non NDSU team. Yeah, I would have to agree. I'm, I'm excited. Of course, Coop, -de -dog, Coop Doggy Dog is a very good player. He was on the SDSMT varsity team last year, so he does have quite the experience with higher level people. So hopefully, he'll bring that into Div B and uh, he'll take it all for himself and win it all. But moving right along, who will be rounding out with Ali and Jaden? None other than oh the Crippin Crip Crip and Jaden on a Crip team. Jaden <laughs> is going to be the most toxic duo, yes. and I'm sorry for anyone has to face them. I don't but know if you, I don't know if you play. With, I don't know if you with Ali. Ali is a free play main, also, so Ooh. he definitely says he gets you know tilted a little bit. So three super uh -oh. tiltable players that might be the toxic team uh, of Div B. So my question is Trey. Easy money Hemingway, right? You're, you're saying, you know, those two are just going to be taking the dub. The goaded team. Who they are... got for third doesn't even matter. Oh, my God. It actually is broken. It's actually broken, dude. It's just so free. It's just so free, easy money. <laughs> you're the goat, and you're going to take it home. I love it. Oh, my God. That that might literally, that might actually be it right there. That is that is that is an insane team right there. I don't know if you guys have seen Ogan play. Maybe Hemingway is a sleeper. People didn't know who he was, but that team... That is a very scary team for Div B. That's so. just the dub. Y'all have team. fun. Y'all have fun with that one. I don't have to mess with that. I'm glad. You can you can take the next one, Mr. President. I mean, all I'm gonna say is uh, Easy Money did have good old uh, Lawson last time on his team, Microsoft Excel. So it, it's about time he gets a real good teammate. So I'm, I'm excited for you, man. <laughs> You're gonna pop off. But Toffer, aka Rooney, is gonna finish off his team with Shaven. This is this is also gonna be a broken team. I mean, those two alone. That's just so good. And Americans too, runner up for Div B Grand Finals. I mean, it's over. It's over. Dude. Easy money and offer had the best teams in Div B. The the, it's just not the purple cobras. I don't know if you guys know the backstory, but the purple cobras the who were the absolute worst team in league play the entire <laughs> season, and they make a an insane bracket run in the playoffs the they end up getting run. they end up Upper. getting second place they knocked out like everyone and everyone's like oh this is a joke right they go up against another high level team knock them out and everyone's just like this is a this is ridiculous so americans coming off the second place second place win last time div b his roommate who was his old teammate decided to dip him so he's gone but americans does get shaven and tofer so if americans can uh, make the same performance as last time for div b 
That's it's over. Year. That's that's well, you, you it's can't over. just keep saying it's over. <laughs> over. It's <laughs> over. It's easy money versus Topher <laughs> in the grand finals on land. I'm calling it right now. Sign me up. I'm a predictionist. Come on. Gonna be the vibe team right there. Mm. They're saying, nah, honestly, that's facts. The world, every one of those Topher shaven Americans is all like the most. Those are all vibing, low key yeah. <laughs> vibing people you'd ever meet. Also, just goaded at the game at yeah. the same time. All so right, fun. Beowulf, <laughs> Yappa, and we're gonna round it out with complex marksman. I'm just gonna say complex. That's a little easier. Uh, yeah. Another new player to the scene. Uh, hopefully, gonna be thriving. Uh, obviously, Beowulf and Yappa are pretty similar in rank. Yappa is. I, again, if there's anyone who needs, you know, help with a team moral, he's just going to take him to Denny's and they're good to go. So that's all it takes. <laughs> take him to Denny's. Yeah, no, that's just going to be a great team. Overall, morale is going to be through the roof. He's literally always laughing on stream. Just a True. great guy to have in your corner. Complex. I'm excited to see what you can do, man. All right. But take Bob. Who do you got for your third? I mean, you got the goat of shark bite on your team. And then you're obviously decent at the game, Mr. Jake Bubba. <laughs> who do you got for your third to round it off? Craps a doodle. This guy calls himself Poop because he's that good at the game, apparently. Very interesting player. He has very on and off games. So I wonder how uh, Shark and Jake will work around that. But I mean, mechanics, maybe? <laughs> we don't know. Could be. Shark just saying best team right there, right after saying no. Yeah. Uh, Craps, we both had the opportunities of being teammates with Craps. Uh, you had him in threes, I believe, right? I had him in twos. Yeah. Uh, and now he Easy has to squeaked in. Uh, with the very <laughs> last spot in Div B, uh, rankings wise, Second I should say, last spot. wasn't wasn't the last yeah. pick, um, but Krabs making it into the the mid leagues, and uh, that is going to be a very interesting team uh, rotationally. I really am curious how Jake Bob is going to handle that and make sure uh, everyone's you know put in their place there. Be the be the tough tough captain. Yeah, if team. he's going to have to be the big tough guy, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It'll be an interesting team. He's going to be the enforcer. <laughs> we'll see. We'll <laughs> we're, we're saying Zarch and Div A it might, might be happening here. We'll Zarch is a Div A though. It's just true. I well, mean, well, Zarch we'll, actually we'll was a captain in Div A. We'll, 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 fin we'll finish it off. Uh, how did he get there? I thought he was. What? Where did he go? Oh my God! Zarch, Zarch of course, rounding it out. The wow. last pick in Div B legendary does snag him, deeming him worthy to be playing with Whirl <laughs> and himself. And that's that's just gonna be a fun team. I feel like just all those guys together, just legendaries again, team, super yeah. chill. World, one of the guys who's put in some of the most work, uh, making this you know entire thing possible, doing all the Discord, everything. Uh, so that's gonna be a very fun team. But now that everything is done, chat again. I want to see who you guys uh, are thinking is gonna. I be mean, do you want to hear my team? dark horse team? Do you want to hear my no, dark okay, horse hold team? Hold on, dark horse <laughs> team or team that you think's gonna win it? Because those are two different things. Well, I mean, they could be the same team if everyone wanted. No, they cannot be the same team. No. It can be Easy Money's team. No. Could be. Get out of here. Could be. Yeah. Fine. I think Chemist's team could go crazy. And then obviously Easy Money's team is going to win it all. But like, the Chemist could go crazy. I'm going to go. I win. think Easy Money's going to be taking it. And I got Jake Bob as the dark horse. I, I think I think Jake Bob Sharp and Cracks be craps. I mean, yeah. Horse. If Shark's crazy and Craps is consistent and they're crazy, they win it. I mean, like, yeah. it's just so crazy. See, I'm so up. Good. Lemon good. saying that Spooners are winning it. I mean, you kind of can't argue with that. Let's Spooners could win. I mean, <laughs> they're not out of the running yet. So. Moint, Mointment saying Chemist sucks. Moint, I can't. I'm, there's there's so many people in <laughs> chat. The amount of times I look over, I just see K Tool is my dad, or K Tool is my son, or K Tool, I need your eyes. They'd be good for my collection. Thank you for that one. Saw that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, so. are you looking at the the VC in NDSU Rockley right now? There's like 15 people in there oh, doing a little watch party. Oh wow, they got That's a lot so of high. people going. Dude, I, I've got enough crap right now. I can't Shout out to the NDSU chat. Yeah, about <laughs> Shout out to the NDSU Holy, chat. Holy, there is a lot of you guys in here. Oh my, you guys are popping you off. You might have to stop it and say hi right before the stream ends. That'd, uh, be, that'd, that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are always, you know, down looking for games. Uh, the NDSU Rocket League server, or honestly the DCRL, just ask, you know, hey, who wants to play? More than likely, you got a lot of guys joining in. Like, for example, it's 930 right now, and there are 15 to 20 people in a single Rocket League chat. Tons of them playing Rocket League. Uh, you can always go there and check it out if you're always looking for games. And that's just kind of the, the nice community that we've built up over the years. But... Are we are we ready for Div A, Dre? Are we are we ready to move on? I am to, so uh, freaking excited for Div A, the most dangerous division of them all. If I'm being honest, <laughs> there it is. Danger. Trash, Stewie, Remzik, Simi, K Tool, Greek, Z Wales, and Trey, your top eight e. captains. 
And uh, Trey, saying, I have his total, so Trey, I mean. Trey did in fact um, get the number one overall pick in Div A. So Trey, do you wanna you wanna reveal to the world uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. who your, who your yeah. pick was and yeah. why it was bad? Yeah, yeah. The go of Baker's dozen, my guy. He's literally sixteen hundred right now, bro. There's even some captains who aren't sixteen hundred right now. Calling out UK till you're bad. Anyway, but me and Baker's on a team. We're both twos players. It's just over. Y'all are so freaking bad. It's not even funny. Me and Baker's are winning at all. It's not even funny. Hey Trey, what's your twos rank? Making land. I am. Hey Trey, what's your what's your twos rank? Yeah, yeah, twelve hundred boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can shush. Okay. But I'm the goat. I'm nah, also nah. like two games away. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, hit, you, hit, you hit the shot. Trees. Hey, you hit the shot. You're the goat. You hit the shot. The That's all goat. I gotta say. All right, oh, <laughs> moving yeah. on. Z Wales gonna be coming in. He's a new player. Uh, we got rocking from I believe USD. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep track of a lot of people here, but he's it gonna be tagging right. Leffy. Who is one of the starters for South Dakota School of Mind? So uh, that is going to be very, uh, very, very interesting. Two brand new people I haven't gotten to play with or against a ton. Uh, but again, I mean, every one of these players in Div A is going to be stupidly scary. Uh, I did play with Z Wells, I think, once. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, how that team stacks up. The real question is you know, someone like Greek, who's going to be our next captain, who's actually done a lot of these drafts before. Uh, do we had how, how would we critique his pick? I don't even remember who he grabbed. I think it was it. bad, no matter what it was. But uh, turns out Greek actually grabbed Palacula, the other SDSMT player. Right? Or is that, uh, is that a different one? No, you're right. You're Plat, Plat Killa, Leffy, and CRJ, I believe, are the starting yep, three. Yep. Pumpkin, I know you're in chat. Correct me if I'm wrong. So just please. Both of but those guys bad. going back to back almost like <laughs> in the, the draft. So they obviously have a very scary team for CCL this year. But uh, Greet and Plat Killa, that'll be fun. He's, he's a new guy. We'll have to see how he plays. Yes, sir. Appreciate all the follows again, boys. Lots of follows, lots of subs. Always appreciate it. And again, this is like the most watched stream we've ever had. So it's always good. And again, we haven't even gotten in. Cool to the actual gameplay like when we start streaming these games oh it's gonna be so much fun but moving on yeah. i will do my own pick which i ended up grabbing spooky mama who i've gotten to play with him like, play against him in the past and he took a couple seasons off boy's been grinding he's sitting gc2 right now or at least he was gc2 last season i think he's like high 1560s or something in threes right now so we got to play a little bit today uh with my other teammate who will be revealed in just a little bit um, but I am excited. <laughs> Boy is having fun. Boy is grinding. So he's got like three or four hundred games right now in his like threes. It's, it's yeah, he's, he's a grinder and uh, it's easy wins. I'm curious since you said you played with him today. Uh, would, would you say he SMH belongs to that rank? Is he still is he still on oh, his yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah. no, for sure. Okay. It's, it's, it's actually not even fair. We got to go like three games, you know, so we're good for practice for the week, basically. Oh, no. all, all these primes coming in guys appreciate all the support honestly it does mean a lot all, every, so everything that you guys are like donating and giving us literally all this crap that we Here's are doing managing doing all this stuff for land because somehow we have to pay for land you, you guys gotta remember that this is a all run you know for students by students it costs money believe it or not the rocket league club here at ndsu does not have thousands of dollars coming out of our pocket yeah. so it is very much appreciated because it it, yeah. ta it takes the stress off just a little bit from how much we'll have to deal in the future but Moving on to the next pick, Mr. President. Simi, Simi Mo Mimi, you know, the goaded threes player, rounding out the top of NDSU varsity team. I will have to say, I think he had a pretty good first pick. Overall, picking CRJ, of course, another SDMT player. I mean, they're just representing in Dive. I love to see it. They are, they're quite goaded, if I have to say so myself. But he picks up CRJ, which, I mean, I spent a little bit of time with him. He's okay. It's cool, dude. Die. We got we got more subs coming in, boys. Now we got Mr. Zarch Race Man, the three gifted he's subs. He's been given, bro. God, I know he's got. He he ended up sniping uh, Jaden, Red, and some guy. Thank you, thank you. Ended up sniping yeah, Jaden, Brad, and Red Panda. But it looks like he mistyped his name a little bit. We got one more round. I'm assuming <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's it's raining. Zarch trying to out donate you. Yeah, I was gonna say you guys gotta. gotta yeah, you can try, bud. You can try. But you haven't uh, even passed K tool yet, my guy. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Not anyways, close. anyways, anyways, <laughs> we are gonna be moving on. Oh! <laughs> Brad, bro. <laughs> no way. Oh my God. Bradley. <laughs> 
Bradley. We're gonna be here so I mean, so I know long. you saved up your summer allowance, but holy cow, buddy. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> it hasn't been said yet, but thank you. Wow, that's a lot of money. We really appreciate that. Jesus. It's, it's, uh, actually, this is, this is ridiculous, dude. I mean, again, we, we cannot thank you guys enough for all this. It's, this has been ridiculous. Let me, um, <laughs> we're gonna be here Maybe a while, boys. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna be here a while. Actually, hold on. I can, I can do this. I am going to, just for right now, Mute the alerts, otherwise we are literally going to be here for the next, like, half hour doing this. So I apologize, Brad, doing that to you. But seriously, it is so much appreciated. Uh, every, all the work we're doing, it will not go in vain. But, oh my god, stop, people. <laughs> Yee <-hee. laughs> Stop. I don't want to be left out. I don't want to be left out. Come oh on. Oh my <laughs> god. You guys, it's, you know, it's actually insane. So now, yeah, this this is crazy. Y'all, you're, you're, you're making this difficult. We're trying to get through a draft, god. Okay? And you're just giving yeah, us like money and stuff. Going. Like I said, I apologize. I am gonna mute the the announcement or the alerts just because otherwise it's gonna be that for the next like ten minutes. We gotta get through a draft yeah. here, boys. So again, I appreciate it a lot, but I am gonna mute it for right now. And we are gonna be moving on to Remsic, the most active person in the Discord. Everything, of course. Waiting for him to say one thing, but it's fine. You know, I, I got him on Snap. Uh, our newest member to NDSU Varsity uh -huh. team uh, did in fact snag Cozy Corday. For his first pick. That's a great pick. Cozy has been on like top teams almost every single season he's played. Last time with Bakers, and they had a great run in playoffs. So I'm really excited to see how Remzik and Cozy play together. I think that it has a lot of potential. Yeah, Cozy and Bakers were a stupid dangerous team last season. Like for what <laughs> I remember talking to them, and they're just like, Yeah, no, we didn't really actually like try at all, like all season or like calm or really like, grind the game. And then we just decided, like, come playoffs, we're gonna do it. And they just got good. I'm like, Oh, I hate that they can just flip a switch and they're actually like that much better. It's it's actually just not like, fair. They beat they literally beat uh car swappers <laughs> to make them yes. go to the lower bracket. Yes. The the world no. champions. No, 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 no. They didn't just beat them once yeah. though. That was the beauty of it. It was multiple yeah, times. Yeah, like three times. <laughs> they beat them. It was so. They kept playing each other over and over. I it was know. crazy. It was it was so great. I think it took them like three or four times before the number one team. Who won it all was able to beat them. So yeah, Co Cozy and Bakers are just they're just cracked at this one. But uh, we're gonna uh, go to the next one. One of the two MSUM brothers who in fact are topping uh, the list MMR wise for our little draft here. Stewie with his pick did in fact snag Squat as his very first pick. Rounding out. See any W in there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, how would you say it? But yeah. Scott, I think there is actually Scott, a W Scott, in there. Scott. Scott, I don't know. Scott, <laughs> I think there's supposed to be a W, Mr. Tool. But hey, all right, no, 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 no. Up squad. This is not me. I'm like, okay, Tool is so bad, guys. Guys, you don't understand. He's so, you don't understand. I've been dealing with this for years, but anyway, Stewie and Scott, Stewie's just a go. He's gonna teach his teammates how to play so well. It's over, Stewie. He's gonna win the league again, and he's gonna try, he's gonna lose again. It'll be really funny, but. Stewie seems gonna be really fun. I'm really excited to play their team again. Oh, uh, no, 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 Shark, you get that out of here. I I, I don't need you starting that either. <laughs> Stewie's done that enough to me. I'm just old and senile at this point. Uh, Trash, <laughs> the highest rated person we have for DCRL this semester. His very first pick is going to be Snagging who Aspect. Who, and Whoa! actually, well, and actually, and Trash got his uh, back to back, so I can just reveal the whole team. And Urban, Urban! Living. <laughs> Urban! <laughs> Urban made it Urban! back to back. Apparently, I got some little inside I information. It, is that Stu Stewie told us he's just like, yo, Brad, you should pick up Urban. Brad's just like, yo, bet. No, no, no. I'm picking up Urban. I don't care where he is. I'm snagging Urban right now. Urban, who he and he ended up beating Trash and Maroon, his teammate, in the grand finals. So Trash is just like, well, you know what? If you, can't, if you can't beat him, join them. And that is exactly what he did. So, <laughs> and he couldn't get heat. So he got the next best thing, heat. Urban Living. So he got Urban. Urban, my, my dude is on each day, like the same day within a half hour, can be like champ one or GC. Literally, it fluctuates that fast. So it really depends on the day. But if Brad, if there was one person who could coach up Urban and just make him more consistent, it's Brad. So by the end of the season, Urban's just GC. Yeah, let, let, let's so be honest. I'm so scared here. of Urban, bro. I'm so scared. <laughs> he gets two back-to-back goaded teammates from Heat to Brad. Like, what? 
what do you do? You lose. You just lose to urban living, and it's not even fun anymore. I, I think we got to go back to Stewie, though. We got to go back. I, I, I just want to point out, our subscriber thing is still going. We we, we still have... I mean, it's like 30 plus. So like... <laughs> I know. It, it's still going. So, uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go re re reveal, reveal the next one. Go ahead. Let's do it. Come on. The old second brother in the goaded squad that is MSUM Rocket League varsity team does pick up Painted Harp. Actually, a starter for DSU Rocket League team. So, really excited to see some representation coming out of them. Did go like tenth overall in this draft, so very excited. I'm, uh, I think he's gonna do a lot. Stewie's gonna train him up, and that's gonna be a scary team. But they're gonna lose to Trey, and it's gonna be really, really, really funny, guys. Got a, got a couple. You'll, people. you'll watch that. It'll be really funny. Got yes. a couple people saying they miss Heat in chat. Um, Heat's, you know, he's he's, heat, ba yeah. he's back home in the Twin, in the Twin Cities, recovering. He uh, ended up breaking his leg <laughs> in a tragic disc golf accident. Um. Bro just twisted it. <laughs> you can ask Keith about that. But yep, broke his leg playing disc golf. It's a it's a pretty violent sport if you guys aren't aware. A lot of you know yeah, hard contact. So it happened, <laughs> I guess. So anyways, moving on. Remzik, newest member, like I said, of DC or of NDC collegiate team. Rounded out his team is going to be it's Blasky RL, another new player coming in the scene here. Cool. I don't know anything about him, but I think he's going to be cool. I don't either. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's there's so many new people we got to keep track of. But Blasky, Remzik, and Cozy, that's going to be an interesting team. Because Cozy and Blasky you know, are pretty similar rank-wise. Obviously, uh, Squat and Painted Harp were back-to-back -back in rankings. So uh, those two teams are going to be very interesting to see how like Stewie or Remzik you know, are coaching him, are coaching Cozy and Blasky, or if they're just kind of like, yeah, no, we're just going to kind of vibe and uh, see what happens. So, Yeah. I mean, that brings us to Simi. The best of the best on NDSU Rocket League Varsity team does bring out the next pick of the second best DSU RO player, apparently. I guess he's not playing this season, but Failure, a personal friend of mine. Shout out, good old Failure. Love it. I think that team is going to be insanely, insanely talented, and I do not want to face them because they will be better than my team, potentially. But they also won't be because I'm the best in the day. So. Moving on to Kato's name. <laughs> so, little unfinished business here, because uh, when I went out in twos, I was uh, having some PC issues, and my teammate was having a controller issue where uh, his controller just straight up broke in the middle excuses, of the season. So, excuses. So, BotBot DMs me and says, hey, excuses, yo, excuses. If, uh, if, if, if you get a chance to pick me in the drafts, you, 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 should, you, should, you should do it. I think we got a little unfinished business. We still got a little left in the tank. So, I had my opportunity to snake BotBot. And I have faith in us. We're, we're going all the way. Just, you know, we're running it back from the twos. The little unfinished business. We picked up Spooky. It's okay, easy, easy, going easy, all the easy, way. easy dubs. It just doesn't easy add dubs. up anymore. Easy dubs. Bro, peaked in season two of the weekly league and has never won again. Hey, Trey, how, so how many, how many no, wins no. do you have? How many, how many wins in the seasons do you have? How many? The only one that matters was Spoon. Shout out Spoon. You're not <laughs> dead, I missed you. The only one. Okay, bud. No, no, no. You, you, you do but I think we have a little, little, shut up. I think Greek has a little <laughs> unfinished business too. You know, you know, you, you brought up Bot Bot. I mean, who else does Greek know? I mean, Greek knows Silk. He's not in the league this time. Greek knows Mitchy Twitchy. He already got picked. So, I mean, who else is Greek team with? None other than Ibex Shank. Ibex and Greek is back. Ibex and Shake Greek. It's dubs. It's wins. That's the best, second best team in Divay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Yeah, so Bot Bot and I running it back from the two season. Ibex and Greek running it back from the two season. We each picked up a third. Um, this team specifically, though, like Greek and I think it's going to be really fun when we face each other because it is those same teams with now yeah. a third. Um, but obviously, twos and threes does play a lot differently. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, if one team does have more of an advantage or disadvantage versus the two season. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to get into this. All these teams are stupidly competitive. Uh, the next one on the list is going to be Z Wales, who is going to be picking up Little Man, another new player on the scene, uh, kind of coming out of nowhere. Not going to lie, we didn't know where to rank him if he was going to be uh, in Div A or Div B. Uh, you know, obviously looking at the tracker links, Z Wales looked at him and is just like, no, 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 Little Man, he's on me. I got him. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> Doesn't even matter because the greatest team in Division A. Has one more player up their sleeve. You got Trey, the best in Debe. You got Bakers, who can cook up anybody he freaking wants, dude. That guy is a menace. 
But I mean, they don't even need a third, and they still got the best in the biz. He's straight out of South Dakota State University, and his name starts with F. Do you know who I'm talking about, Kato? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Believe it or not, because I made the sheet. Jack Frosty himself. Frosty's on the team. That will take down every Div A team. It's not going to be close. It's going to be an 8-0 and season. Actually, 7-0 and because we got that bye week. But it's going to be so free. And then it's just going to be easy all the way through the winner's bracket of the Grand Finals. We'll be world champions after that. But Frosty is our last and final pick of Division A, rounding out everyone <laughs> in the Div A draft. Oh my god, these are some spicy, spicy teams. Now that we are done, boys, I am curious. Um, Stewie already saying Trey's team's getting fifth. Uh, keep in mind, top four, top four. I'm making make plan. No, 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 no. Top, top four make it. Um, I'm just gonna make this easy, uh, right now and just say we'll just say the bottom half, you know, make land nice and easy, right? Just call our day. Just oh, I'm we'll done. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah I, th I think it's a good idea. We, we, we agree. Stewie and trash, easy. Yeah, yeah we, 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 we agree. Right, bye bye, Ramsey yep. Simi. Yeah. Bye bye, Stewie Trash. Bye guys. Bye bye. Make it, make it nice and it's easy. It's nice but, playing. <laughs> okay, you can't list your own team. Who do you think? Who's who's your number one and who's your dark horse? Can't be your own team. It's Trey or nothing. <laughs> All right, you heard you heard it here first, folks. You uh, you can't argue with that. Failure saying his own team. Uh, not gonna I mean, lie. Dark horse team is not Ramsey. Gonna, I mean, uh, no, no, we no, know no. nothing about them. I I think Simi's team. If if I were to pick one team to win it, honestly, I could. I could they're just gonna be. Good. They're not a dark horse. They're just. No, I'm not, win. I'm not saying dark horse. I'm saying, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying to win. Yes, my number one team. I'm saying Simi's team. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm saying Simi. Dark. I think it's either Simi or Stewie, and then my team wins it all. You know what? Just, just for you, Trey. Yep, you can be my dark horse. Just for you, buddy. There you go. Just for you. You haven't seen Frosty. He's nuts. He hit a breezy. This first ever clip he showed me. So I'm I'm in love. <laughs> okay. Uh, Who do you yeah. think? No, I want to flip the tables. Who's the worst team in Div right now? Show me. Tell me. Ooh. Worst team in Div You're probably just going to say me, Who's knowing you, to be point? honest. <laughs> Well, that's my, actually my opinion this time. I mean, like, <laughs> look at your team, bro. Wow, <laughs> look the at it. balls on this man. It. Bro, found CR DCRL and won't even make land. It's actually gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Trey, worst team in Div A. Hey, I saw it in chat. I can't argue with chat. Just saying. You can't argue because you're that dumb. You don't even know how. Hey, it's uh, look, looks like someone said. Are the looks, worst like someone, team in looks like someone said they ran into you and ranked and uh, saying you're washed. So, Trey, worst team. Ooh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I can't argue wow. with chat. So, I'm Seems not. Like so, he's having so, delusions. I'm, I'm, this so is I think crazy. it's gonna be these three, and then I'll just like snag, you know, Simmy. You can, you can, you can go down <laughs> there then. You can get replaced, right? Nice and easy. We'll leave the I mean, MSU boys. All the other teams that throw. It's we'll we'll leave the MSU boys, the MSU M boys at home. They they disrupt. Yeah, they, they, dis they disrupt us enough already as is. <laughs> Kato is gonna be watching his land from the cr his own land from the crowd. No cap. <laughs> the only thing I got I going for me is if I don't I make land, not. at least I'll be running it and casting it. That's my only only. It claim literally to has to show up to land. Literally so have to be there. <laughs> Oh my god, but no, this is I, I am so excited. All these teams, it's it's actually they crazy how competitive it. it's yeah. like seriously div A, Div B are so stupidly close in all their teams, just from how close all the MMR is. Trying to rank these guys, I can promise you guys, was a nightmare. Uh to try to figure out what the heck was going on. Um Yeah, it's it, it's gonna be so much fun. Uh obviously games start Monday. We've got less than a week and we are going at it. Um I am gonna swap back real quick. But uh, just kind of a couple things I wanted to kind of go over. Now that, you know, draft is actually done, um, you know, <laughs> captains, obviously we'll need captains to figure out games and stuff. We're going to probably post stuff either later tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll have the schedules out uh, with who plays, you know, who plays who each week. Uh, we'll have a captain sheet, which each team will need to designate one captain to actually schedule the games. What that actually entails is literally just like if Trey and I are playing, just me reaching out to Trey saying, hey, we can play like, Wednesday after six or like Friday or anytime Saturday and Trey checks with his team. Boom. I done. Will play Saturday and Tuesday. What time works for yep. you? That's it. That's literally all it is. It does not take much to work to be a captain. We will need from you guys. We're not we're not asking too much. We just need a team name and logo. It does need to be appropriate because this is for college. Yep. 
we can't do anything too crazy. I know I would love to come up with some really, you know, funny names and funny logos, trust me. But since this is going to be on campus in front of a lot of people, they need to be decently appropriate. Obviously, if you have questions, like you can DM us or we'll reach out to you guys and say, yeah. I, don't, I don't know about that. A little edgy. We, we've, little had some, we've had some really interesting ones in the past that we had to go, I love it. I want to use it, but we can't. I'm sorry. So that is what yeah. we ask of you guys is just team names, logos. Uh, any questions, though, obviously, you guys, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Obviously, we have a lot going on here. There's a lot to keep track of, a lot to make sure people are on the right track and everything. Uh, but anything else you want to kind of add on top of what is required of each team? Bail, ball chasing again. Stats, we always have issues with this every single time. Uh, one of your players just has to be on PC. It's really easy to set Baka's mod or GIF your game. They can just auto save all of your replays. It's really simple. Then you just go into your files. You take the last three or whatever you had. Throw them to ball chasing. Send us that link. Again, we'll maybe even have a video that goes into a little bit more detail because it is confusing. But for Div C specifically, like reach out to us if you do not know how to make replays into a ball chasing file. Or if you don't have anyone that's on PC that can do that for you, because then we'll try to figure something out or you'll have to ask the other team every time. It's just it's a whole ordeal, but please it makes it really Save easy. It makes it really fun for stats. Replays. Yes. You can you can set up Bacchus mod so it automatically uploads your games to ball chasing. Cause that's the links that we need because and we'll eventually show you guys like all the stats we keep track of because it is just about everything. So we need your guys' help to actually keep track of, you know, what is going on. Otherwise, this is not going to go well for anyone. I can promise you that. Um, I'm just like looking at the standings and stuff. It's like we'll keep track of, you know, record, win percentage, goals per game, assists per game, saves, shots, shooting percentage, demos, demos per game, all that stuff. And we need to keep track of that. So, yeah, that's what we need from you guys. Ball chasing, please, and save your replays. We're all saying no. All right, never mind. Never mind. Don't, don't bother. All right, Fine. that's all canceled. Sorry. <laughs> DCRL is canceled. It is gone. Apologize. It's, it's my special. Yep. But yeah, no, make sure don't. you just also, sorry. Yeah, let, just make sure you check the sheet every single day. Uh, see you're facing earliest you can in the week because uh, you got to set up times and you got to meet with your teams. It'll be on, uh, we'll have a, what is it, Google form sometime. We'll have that one sent out for everybody. Just make sure you check that out. See you're playing that week. Reach out to the other captain. And of course, it is only seven games for this season, so they're very important. You don't want any double forfeits. I'm just gonna, yeah, I gotta time out some people because uh, we got we got a couple <laughs> things we gotta do in the chat here. Uh, looking like we need to see a world. Uh, looks like we gotta give some uh, compliments to Squad Twenty Three, and uh, CRJ needs an insult. So uh, you do the compliment, I'll do the insult. How's that? You know I don't know squad, you you scumbag. <laughs> I mean, uh, are, are, am I assuming that he's in the league, or am I assuming he's just a Twitch chatter? What, what, what should I go with? Uh, I can't wait for his compliment. It's it's coming, but I I would assume he's in the league. Squad, let let us know. Uh, like I said, we got, we got a lot of stuff we're trying to figure out. I don't actually know if he's here or if he's in the league or not. Because again, Twitch names are different than this. Um. Okay, well, while you're figuring out that, I will give an insult. Pumpkin, yes. how long does it take for you to get me the DCRL <laughs> graphics? It was nine days DMing him back and forth, texting him to actually get all this stuff. Ugh, you gotta manage your time better, bud. Come on. Kato's toxic, bro. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk to him anymore. He's just toxic. Fair enough, be even more positive. You know, you should give a compliment. I think that'd be a really good idea. Wow, I guess I am always just the positive one, you know. <laughs> Kato's always so down on everybody. That's me. Squad, you're you're amazing. You've done it all. From death to birth. There hasn't been a thing you haven't touched on this earth that hasn't impacted them in a more positive way. You can make a baby cry out of gorgeousness with your face. You are the second coming of Jesus. That's it. That was that was that was beautiful. That was bringing a tear to my eye, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. great. No, we can't. No, no, no. We're cutting them off. No more. End the stream, Kato. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do the compliment well, if you're doing we're gonna, it. <laughs> we're we're going to be here forever. But yeah, okay. We'll do, we'll do one more compliment, and then we are at end the stream because we got a lot of stuff. I got homework to do at midnight tonight. I got more stuff to do. Sarah, first of all, I cannot thank you enough for actually like being here, actually supporting us. First of all, 
now that she timed out world i don't know if she is anymore but she seriously had the most bison bucks out of like everyone here so her actually like, tuning in uh who is world's girlfriend if i recall so uh yeah. her her tuning in spending her bison bucks actually winning you know she's just really good at betting so if you're looking for advice on how to get bison bucks i would probably do what she's doing so just bet on world <laughs> though that, that's all it is <laughs> literally didn't homework. lose a game bro i have homework due at midnight tonight what are you talking about get out of here will i still be up till 3 a.m probably is it a bad idea probably but that's all right got who's stuff. to say who's to say exactly thank you everybody for tuning in though we do really appreciate everyone coming up for the draft of course this was our most viewed stream of all time hoping to top that one of the few streams in the future yeah but, it's oh my be goodness very thank very exciting guys. Like said, or tune it in. Yeah, like I said, this is the most viewed stream we've ever had. Obviously, a little different being DCRL instead of just NDSU, but I cannot wait when we actually show you guys the graphics and everything we've done, actual in-game stuff, like starting with C, B, and A, like all those divs, to actually get some content out there. I cannot wait to see you guys blowing up chat. And some cool casting moments. One thing I do need to say, kind of speaking of casting moments, that we are going to put out is a sign-up sheet uh, for oh, all you guys out there. If you want to... Try casting, try being on stream. If you want to help us with the stats, help us with all the players, there is a ungodly amount of work that we have to do on the back end. And if you guys are interested in, hey, I want to try casting. Hey, I want to try, you know, being a part of the stream. I want to help with stats. Absolutely do it, especially casters. We are usually pretty desperate for casters. There's a huge pool of it. And when we sign up on stream, you know, between the streamers, like usually Trey, like Greek, or maybe a Cripple Fire myself, we need people to cast with us, so if you want to try it, we'll have a sign-up sheet that we are going to post probably in the next, like, 24 hours. Just put your name down, put what you're interested in, because uh, it would really, really help us out. But I think that is going to be all we have for tonight. I, again, really cannot appreciate you guys, all the support, all the love. My God, the amount of followers and subscribers, just, it's crazy. And the fact that we are just getting started, like, this is the first ever stream for DCRL. I can't imagine what it's going to be like, you know, by the end of the semester, next semester, a year down the road. I, I am I am so excited. Yes, Shark, there will be trophies. We have a lot in the works. There's going to be legit trophies, too. Each division, we got a lot of stuff. But that's all in the future. It's all under wraps. You know, it's all, it's all secretive. Who is so, this Coach T guy, bro? <laughs> I don't know. He keeps saying it. I'm not seeing Coach in chat. Oh, you guys are making it making it confusing. But, Trey, no, any, any Cripplify. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Anything else, Trey, you want to shout out before we call her a night here? um just all the viewers that are gonna tune in and uh play in our league we couldn't do this without you i mean showing up for times being active in the discord just everything that you can do for us for that wise we thank you and we couldn't be more <laughs> grateful for that i want to shout out uh squad 23 he's been he's been a real part of my part of my life just a real you know up and coming person he really helped me through some tough times like dealing with trey so just really want to you know make that shout out there but that is going to be it for all we are doing tonight here appreciate everyone who's tuned in the draft is done teams are out make sure you're reaching out to your players and make sure you are checking the discord because we're going to have a lot of information coming very very soon that is going to be it for us everyone and i wish you the best of luck go get your homework done go sleep go be adults go be fun college kids adios